Hi, my name is Zach Palmquist. I'm the Director of Engineering here at Safe and Sound Security. And today we're gonna to talk about access control installations. How do I guard against access codes and entry cards being shared? We don't really like to give out access codes anymore. That involves putting readers with keypads. The thing about entry codes is you can verbally tell those to anybody. So that code can go from one hand to the next to the next. If you do wanna have a keypad entry, we strongly encourage you to do dual authentication. What this means is the person has to come up, put their pin into the keypad, and then they also have to present a secondary credential, whether it be their phone, uh, a badge, a fingerprint, dual authentication. Is it possible to migrate my existing access control system to a new building? How was that done? We can absolutely move your access control system to a new building. What we would do is come in, we'd pull out the readers, the access control panels, lock hardware, whatever kind of hardware on site that we can use at the next site. We go to the next site, we'll have to run new cables, and most of the time put in new lock hardware on the doors, but it's a very simple hardware movement from one site to the next. What softwares or systems do you recommend for businesses that want to easily manage access control in multiple locations? You definitely should go cloud. Cloud makes it so that all of your systems, whether they be in Hong Kong, California, Florida, wherever they may be, you can have them all at your fingertips on one interface. You can do this via a web browser, a mobile application, makes it really easy to mitigate all this when you have a cloud-based system. What are some of the benefits of cloud-based access control over traditional systems? Cloud-based access control allows you to do all this stuff remotely. Cloud-based also does automatic firmware updates. It doesn't really take a whole IT team to manage. All this stuff happens in the background. It also gives you the ability to use things like mobile credentials and be able to add, delete, and provoke privileges from anywhere in the world. What types of biometric credentials can be used and which of these is the most developed and reliable? There's a couple of them. Facial recognition has come a long way. We actually have a product now that can detect multiple faces at the same time and determine who's a valid user and who's not. You can also use fingerprints. We use those quite a bit and we can use a mix of both. What access control equipment do you recommend for a multi-tenant building? Multi-tenant buildings typically need a video intercom. We have certain systems like SwiftLane where you can have a video intercom at the entry system, but it's also expandable to an access control system. So not only can we have the video intercom at the entry, we can also have badge readers throughout the facility where a video response is not needed. If you'd like to learn more about access control installation, feel free to call us here at Safe and Sound Security and we'll help you out.